Hello and welcome everyone. This is um, the setup portion of our programming tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to set up Sigwin. Uh, Sigwin is a simulated Linux environment that runs inside of Windows. Um, it's how NetBeans is going to be able to power our uh, uh, compilation. So with no further ado, this is Sigwin. Um, the install can be found here at sigwin.com. Uh, I'll link it below in the video description and in the uh, forum post regarding this. Um, you're going to just hit next, install from internet. Just keep the root directory the same. C colon backslash Sigwin is perfect. You don't need to change that. Um, local package directory, same idea. Um, you're going to need to set up your uh, connection a bit. Um, then it's going to come up with a list of mirror sites that you can optionally download from. Um, I've always had good luck with mirror service. Um, some of these other ones are, you know, um, FTPs down here, so you might not have your FTP protocol open. Be sure of that before you choose to download from an FTP. Um, don't select, you know, everything because it will download from all of them. So just pick one. If it doesn't work, just go back and try picking another. Um, you're going to hit next. Um, it's going to ask you, you know, if you're sure that you want to download it, you can just hit yes. Um, so what you're going to do is uh, you're going to have this screen pop up, and we need to find four things. You need to find G++, which is going to be in Devel. And on all of these files, you're going to want to get uh, the bin. In my case, it's going to say unavailable um, because I already have it installed. Um, I'm going to choose not to reinstall it just because I already have it and it's going to take a while to download. Um, you're also going to want GDB which is also going to be in Devel. Uh, that's the GNU debugger. You just hit where uh, the bin normally is. Um, the other one is source. We aren't going to need the source code for anything. Um, this is an intro class. We're definitely not going to be changing around the debugger. Um, you're going to need uh, make. Um, make is down here near the bottom. Um, and then there's one other thing we needed. You need G++ make. Um, I'm going to consult the uh, tutorial real quick. Uh, it's GDB make. Now, of course, it's going to load slowly. All right, I'll just look at the cached version. Uh, GDB make G++ and GCC. There we go. Uh, GCC is the compiler itself, which I should have known. That's also in Devel. All you need is GCC core. I have some of these other things because I'm interested in looking in Fortran and D and Pascal. Uh, the only thing you need here in this list of GCC is um, GCC core and uh, G++. So if this G++ isn't already selected, we did select it earlier, you're going to want to select that now. Um, once you have everything you want selected, hit next and it will download everything for you. And I'm just going to cancel that because I don't need it. Um, tell it that everything installed correctly. And um, once you have that installed, you're going to... I, I know that this works in um, Vista and 7. I don't know if the procedure is the same in uh, Windows XP. If somebody can correct me on this, please do. Um, you're going to want to go into Control Panel, then into System, then into Advanced System Settings. Then you're going to want to go into Environment Variables, then in System Variables, which is the bottom half of this window. You're going to go into Path, and then hit Edit. And then if you installed it to the normal root directory, um, which is c colon backslash sigwin, you're just going to find your bin folder 
which is normally at c colon backslash sigwin backslash bin. You're going to just copy that. Uh, you can right click copy if you want, you can right click cut, same thing. And then you can just close that window. And right here at the end, normally that's not going to be there yet. And you're going to have some other things here, um, some other files that are going to uh, need their system path set. In this case, you're going to do the same thing for Sigwin. You're just going to post the uh, the location of your bin folder, and then hit a semicolon after it. Hit OK all the way down, and that's going to be it. Um, once that's set, you're going to want to open up NetBeans uh, in case you haven't already installed it. You can do so now. When you get in, you're going to want to go to Profiler Tools, and some of these will be selected by default. You want to go into each one of these profiles, and you want to uncheck all of these. Apparently I didn't do such a good job of that. Um, and once they're all unticked, hit OK. Um, that's going to greatly improve the stability of NetBeans while it's running. Um, aside from that, if you run into any problems during the installation, please let me know. Um, again, you can get to NetBeans through uh, the NetBeans website. Um, that should pretty much do it uh, for this video. If you have any questions remaining about how to set up Sigwin or how to set up uh, any of the other programs, uh, involved in these tutorials, please let me know. Um, I do have a video floating around where I recommend um, other IDEs in case you were unable to get this one working. Now with all of that said, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching.